Hi, John Work here with John Demmer at the USA Archery Field National Championship and Worlds Qualifier. So one of our most prolific competitors is John Demmer and John's going to explain really briefly um, how we aim bare bow in field archery. So uh, John is a string walker. Um, John, tell me what string walking is basically. Uh, string walking is pretty much kind of using a sight but we're using it back here instead of a traditional sight out here. Um, so the further we come down the string, the closer the point on distance is when we use the tip of the arrow. Okay, so we're talking about distances and aiming. So you're aiming off the tip of the arrow mm -hmm. um, and we're shooting field archery at different distances. What are the distances we're, we're shooting here this weekend? Uh, here we're shooting five to 50 meters. Okay, five meters extreme close, 50 meters extreme long. Show us how you would make a crawl or string walk for a five meter shot. So here's, here's the tab I'm using and I have each mark at five meters. So Point on for me is 50 and then it would go 45 all the way down to 5. Okay, 5 meter shot, sh show us how you set up for the target. So for when, when we do string walking, we want to do everything as consistent as and repeatable as possible. So how I string walk is I always bump up against the knock fairly hard, so I always have the same finger placement. And then I find my mark, put my thumb where that mark is, slide the tab down, and then put, put it right at the top of the tab. As soon as I put it on the top of the tab, I put a little bit of thumb pressure on there to keep it from sliding. If we don't, we tend to slide a little bit. As soon as you start setting up your shot, you can take your thumb off. And then you're ready to shoot and you're going to draw back holding lower on the string and you're going to put the tip of the arrow then right on the gold of the target? Absolutely, yes. Perfect. And for a 50 meter shot, show us what that looks like. Uh, for me, 50 meters point on, so I just bump up against the knock and start pulling. Okay. And then every distance in between 5 meters and 50 meters, you have a mark on your tab showing you uh, where you're going to hook the string yep. and then aim at the same place on the target. Yep. Okay, John, you've got your crawl on the string at 5 yards. Um, show us how you anchor um, or, or give us a representation maybe um, in this direction of you anchoring um, uh, for a five meter shot. Okay. So I'll set up the normal setup. Um, I gotta turn the hand around. We got a long string angle here. Um, bump up against the knock, come down to where my mark is. Again, same spot, a little thumb pressure. And it's very important that you always anchor in the same spot so your crawls are very, very consistent and you can actually get the hard crawl um, for each distance. Got it. What people are going to notice about bare bow and string walking is uh, they're used to seeing recurve archers anchoring under their chin. Bare bow archers are anchoring somewhere mid-face on the cheek or under the cheekbone. So you're going to come back to the same spot on your cheek every time, I, I assume. Yes, I set up my anchor um, to get a point on a 50, at least 50, probably no more than 60. So that keeps my five meter at a minimum distance as well. My name is Laura Hughes and I was on the uh, 2017 USAT team and hope to make the 2018 USAT team. <laughs> my name is Abby Weir and I was also on the 2017 USAT team. Laura and I actually competed overseas together in Ireland. I hope to make the 2018 USAT team as well. And we're going to tell you how to string walk. Um, so what I do is I start with a walk back. I start at 50 meters and walk my way back. And I just guess on the first try and then start honing it in. And uh, normally I go about a quarter inch down and sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. And there's these little tiny marks on my tab. And that's how I kind of keep track of where it goes. So to run off what Laura just said, so there's different types of tabs. Her tab has specific marks on it that are equally spaced. Mine has little threads that are sort of equally spaced. And basically when you're at a distance and you shoot an arrow and you find out you're too high, you'll want to go down in your crawl, so down on your tab and down on your string. And then if you're too low, you'll want to go up so that you increase your distance.